I start out with a bustier dress separated at the waistline by a flowy skirt on which I will create the plissé effect. Plissé is basically numerous lines of pleating in a short distance from each other. The variant I will create is the pleating being separated by a stripe of non pleats in between. Therefore, I will first place points as the separation of the pleated and non pleated areas. I'm splitting the left side in half and the right into thirds. By right clicking onto the lines that I want to place points on, I access a menu in which I will go for the last option, Uniform Split. Here I use the default value of 2 under Number of Segments. On the right side I will also place a point via right clicking and choose Uniform Split. I raise the number of segments to 3. Then on the left side I place an additional point below the original by again opening the split line menu by right clicking. I choose the option split into two lines and set this value to 100 mm. On the right side I do the same placing a point 50 mm above the one farthest on top. Afterwards, with Edit Pattern, I am selecting the lowest point created on the right side and deleting it by hitting Backspace. Now, I will create the internal lines that will become the plissé. For this, I select both segments on the uppermost part of the vertical sides, and then right-click onto my selection and select Distribute Internal Line Between Segment from the menu that pops up. A sub-window appears on which I set the number of offsets to 100, and then tick the box for graduate segment lengths on the far bottom before saying OK. Now I will do the same for the segments on the bottom, inputting only 80 offsets. I will use the Pleats Fold tool to input the desired folding angles with a few clicks instead of setting them for every line individually. For this, I left click left of a pattern piece once, and then double click right next to it, pulling the arrow popping up over the internal lines that should be edited. A window of options appears on which I select accordion pleats and then click OK. I repeat the same steps for the internal lines on the lower part. At last, I select the hemline via Edit Pattern and then in the Property Editor turn on Elastic. Then I set its ratio to 150% to create a lattice hem. I can now copy and mirror paste my creation and attach it to the back of the garment. As I turn on simulation, I see how the volume of the skirt gathers inside the numerous pleats.